Rev up your engines! Before I started my YouTube channel 11 years ago, I used to do a TV gig. I did that on CBS TV for a couple of decades, and people are always saying, Scotty, whatever happened to those old videos you did? Well, I dug around in my messy garage and found a bunch of these old videos. So here's some old school Scotty. If this cold front is moving through, that means the barometer is dropping. Or Most people don't know it, but they have a weather station under the hood of their car. Okay, Dr. Neal isn't under your hood, but he'd like it there because it's nice and warm. There is an actual weather station under the hood of your car, though. It's called the MAP sensor, and here's how it works. On this Toyota, the MAP sensor is bolted to the firewall. What it does is it measures the difference between the pressure inside your engine with this tube and compares it to the barometric pressure in the atmosphere. If your engine starts to run poorly or you're getting bad gas mileage, you could have a problem with the system. So first, check the vacuum line. There's a vacuum line that supplies pressure to the system. If the line gets loose or has cracks in it, it won't work right. So pull the old line off and check it. Believe it or not, a standard mechanics test is just to blow into it with a finger on one end. If there's no leaks and they aren't cracked, it's fine and put it back on. If there's any cracking at all, these things only cost about a dollar, just get some new vacuum line. It also has an electrical connection that goes to the computer, so squeeze it and unplug it and look inside. If you see a little bit of corrosion, it usually gets green, get some electrical cleaner and spray it to clean it all off. Then you need some of this electrical contact grease. Squeeze a little bit of the grease into each of the contact holes, then plug it in. The grease makes the electricity contact better, plus it keeps it from corroding in the future. It only costs a couple of bucks for a tube, so get some. Now, if the circuitry itself is broken inside the MAP sensor, any mechanic with the scan tool will be able to scan it and get a code for the MAP sensor. And if you have to change it, this particular one only cost about $80, and it's held on with one bolt. The pressure is dropping, and we would expect it to rain. So now you know. You've got a weather forecaster under the hood. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.